This is Ken Loomer and I'm going to be showcasing this exact drum set along with the 1968 Buddy Rich Slingerland Model Artist Snare Drum that you see right here in this poster. And I'm going to be zooming in on the uh, Buddy Rich Artist Model Snare Drum. This is the snare drum that he used on the Mercy Mercy album. And I'm going to pan out here and now I'm going to show you this exact same drum set here in my house. So here we go. This right here is of course the famous Buddy Rich model slingling drum set. And these drums right here are from 1971. And I have all the original hardware that came with this drum set. But what makes this so special is I finally got the artist model snare drum, which was in the 1969 Slingling catalog. And they named it the Buddy Rich model. And let me show you a close up of this Slingling artist model snare drum right here. As you can see, it's an 8 lug snare drum and it's a solid maple shell with reinforcement hoops on them. And of course it has the famous Zoomatic strainer as you can see right here. An excellent strainer, very smooth. And of course it's the famous Marine Pearl and it has the uh, eight lugs and the uh, rims on this particular year was made out of brass it's chrome covered brass and as you can see the badge was the gold and black badge back in 1968 now buddy played this exact same snare drum when he went back to slingerland in 1968 and you can hear him play this snare drum on the Mercy Mercy album that he recorded live at Caesars Palace and there's some pictures on the back of the album cover of him playing this exact same snare drum so let's uh, give it another look and I'm gonna be playing this snare drum in part two but right now I just want to showcase these drums now the drums are from 1971. So as you can see, it has the gold and black badge. But when Slingerlin started making the drums in the 70s, they went to the silver and black badge. And this is a 9 by 13 tom, which of course is on the Slingerlin Settlematic Tom Tom holder, and there's a close up of that. And the bass drum, of course, is 14 by 24, and it's the size that Buddy liked to use the most. And it came with the double spurs first drum outfit to come with these double disappearing spurs on an angle as you can see right here and of course it always comes with the inlay hoops hoops made out of solid maple and of course you gotta have the two floor toms as you can see right here, 16 by 16, the two floor toms. And like I said, this came with the uh, original hardware. So let's uh, look at the cymbal stand. This is the Buddy Rich model cymbal stand. And as you can see, it has the uh, Slingerland sticker on it, right over here. And 
and the hi-hat stand was called the Dynamo hi-hat stand which first came out in 1968 which was pretty heavy duty back then and this was one of the first stands that you can address the tension of the spring with this wheel you can see the wheel right over here and what made this stand unique you can change from the on the feet from the rubber or the spikes and I'll just lift the stand up here so you can see I always have the spikes on but all you have to do is turn this knob and it can go just to all rubber and then you have the uh, rocket snare drum stand as you can see over here and what makes this stand unique let me see if I can get this thing lower enough there's a there's a lever in which you can push down and it makes it a lot easier to put the snare on and off let me get on the uh, this side here so you'll be able to see it a lot better and this is very unique the sling right there you can see the lever and I'll just tilt it down and it just brings the snare drum down and just do it this way and it brings it up very unique to slingling of course that's the uh, slingling tempo king pedal and let's take another look at this Buddy Rich 1968 Slingland snare drum over here and you can see it has its own unique snare bridge in the back here and like I said that's zoomatic over here very smooth very smooth and here's a back end look at the set and of course you gotta have the two cymbal arms the cymbal arm for the splash and of course one for the ride cymbal and again another look at the automatic tom tom holder now these drums are 1971 so they're the uh, three ply shells with the solid maple reinforcement hoops on these drums and like I said they all have the black and silver badge because these are 71 drums and then this is the 1968 Slingerland Buddy Rich Artist Model snare drum and in the 60s it was the the golden black and of course that's the uh, famous drum throne so this is the grand tour of the Buddy Rich Slingerland drum set with the rare Buddy Rich Artist model snare drum and there's some videos on YouTube of Buddy Rich playing this exact snare drum right here and I'll be playing this set along with this Artist model snare drum in part two of the video so let me pan back give you another look at this Classic Slingling Buddy Rich 80N drum set. And there it is. All with the original hardware. And I'll take you back to the Slingling ad. Right here is the Slingland ad for that exact same drum set. 
with the artist Buddy Rich snare drum right over here it's part of my Slingling collection hope you enjoyed it and make sure you watch part two of this video in which I'll be playing this exact same set with the artist modeled snare drum <laughs>